Hi everyone, welcome back to New Post today. And we have another full grown war in the West Asian region between the Hamas and the Israel, that's between the Palestine and the Israel. Uh, why exactly this situation has turned into an all grown war and that too uh, the attack came from the Palestinian Hamas towards the Israel on a very very notified day of October 6th, 19, uh, 2023 which marks 50 years of one of a significant event after which many of the territories of Palestine went into the control of the Israeli. So the Palestinian militant group, now the Hamas is a Palestinian militant group and they have attacked Israel on October 6th, 2023. Now this date is very significant. It launched an unprecedented attack and now it's an all grown war in Israel. Many people are displaced. There are sides taken by the countries that is a geopolitical division is being seen in West Asia. Some of the countries towards the Palestine, some countries towards the Israel and it's turned into an all grown war. So, with its fight now, Hamas with its fighters have entered into the Gaza trip, which is strip which is under the control of Israel, killing hundreds of residents and also taking dozens of people into hostages. So, the Hamas is actually a Palestinian militant group which rules the Gaza strip. It is sworn to Israel's, uh, Israel's destruction and wants to replace the whole territory with the Islamic State. Hamas has fought several wars with Israel since it took over in Gaza in 2000. 2007. Hamas has a role in some cases and its military wing is designated by a, as a terrorist group, not only by the Israel but also the United States, European Union, UK and many other Western powers as well. And today the fresh news is that US has been sending its uh, military uh, ships and also aircraft towards the West Asian region in support of the Israel and also supplying arms and ammunition to its ally Israel in the region. Hamas is backed by Iran, which funds it and also gives its weapons and training. And now the fresh news is that Hezbollah, that is the revolutionary group of the Iranian, which is supported by Iran, is now taking the Palestinian and the Hamas side. The West Bank and Gaza, which are known as Palestinian territories, as well as East Jerusalem and Israeli, all formed a, a part of a land known as Palestine since the Roman times. Palestine as an umbrella uh, is taken as an umbrella term for the West Bank, Gaza and East Jerusalem which came under the control of the Israeli. They were also the lands of the Jewish kingdom in the Bible and are seen by Jews as the ancient homeland and this is what even Israeli looks at. Now Israel was declared a state in 1948 though the land is still referred to as by the Palestinians by those who do not recognize Israel's independence in 1948. Palestine also use the term Palestine to notify an umbrella region for West Bank, Gaza and also East Jerusalem. Now this Gaza Strip, the Gaza Strip is a very very narrow land. If you look at the map, it is sandwiched between is, uh, Egypt and Israel and also the Mediterranean Sea. It is controlled mainly by Israel and also the Hamas group as well. Now Israel controls the airspace of Gaza and its shoreline and restricts who and what goods are allowed in and around through its border crossings. Similarly, Egypt controls who passes in and out through its border because Israeli shares a Gaza shares a border with Egypt with uh, 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 with Egypt yeah so 80% of the population of Gaza depends on international aid according to the United Nations itself and about 1 million people rely on aid and especially daily food aid on a daily basis so the attack came on October 6th to 7th without a warning from the Hamas it happened at a time when when the relations are deep down and also constrained between Israel and Palestine and tensions has been increasing recently after the Al-Aqsa mosque bombing as well. Now this year has been the deadliest year on record for the Palestinians in the Israeli occupied West Bank which could have motivated the Hamas to strike Israel with the attack recently. Now the unprecedented attack came on a day which is actually taken as the 50th anniversary of the surprise attack by Egypt and Syria in 1973 that started a major Middle East war 
war. It was on August, in October 6, 1973, just 50 years back, that the Yom Kopi, uh, Kippur War, that is the holiest and also for, which falls on the holiest day of Judaism, a coalition of Arab nations launched surprise attacks on Israeli occupied territories, sparking off the Yom Kippur War, which we call. So battle lines were drawn and Israel went uh, on an offensive against the Arab coalition. The fighting almost took place in Golan Heights, Sinai and other regions which are now under Israeli occupation since the Six-Day War in 1967. Geopolitical tensions hit a tipping point when at that time the US President Richard Nixon issued a global nuclear threat at that time and the war intensified. The Arab members of the OPEC or the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries suspended oil deliveries to all the western countries all that supported israel because they support palestinian issue triggering an all energy global crisis at that period of time in 1973 two weeks and later 20000 deaths were declared at that very time and israeli emerged victorious at the end with more land under its occupation than it had before the start of the yom kippur war now fast forwarding forwarding this issue to 50 years later that is now in october 2023, over 5,000 rockets were drained or rained on by the Palestinian on Israeli as a Gaza-based Hamas group announced the initiation of an operation. Now, this operation is called as the Al-Aqsa flood, calling on the fighters in the West Bank as well as in the Arab countries and the Islamic nations to join the battle against Israeli by the Palestine, which it accuses of illegally occupying all the Palestinian land. Now, Hamas officials attributed the recent violence to the long-standing tensions between Israel and Palestine, particularly the dispute over the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Now, the site is revered both by the Muslims and the Jews and has a long, drawn history of violence with a bloody 11-day war between Israeli and Hamas in very, very recent of 2021. The Israeli uh, recently commemorated the Simshat Torah, one of the Judaism's holiest day, which was a reminiscent of a surprise attack that, uh, that began the Yom Kippur War in 1973 and it was on this day when Israeli was uh, celebrating the Simcha Torah that the Hamas bombed the Israeli areas. While many Israelis were planning then to, to uh, recently on October 7 to celebrate the Simcha Torah, Hamas put a dampener on their party by raining down missiles on the Israeli to commemorate the 50 years of the war and occupation of Palestinian territories. Followed the attack by the Hamas, then the pri Prime Minister of Israel Benjamin Netanyahu declared a state of full war and launched an offensive against the Palestinian military group, particularly in the sensitive Gaza Strip. Hamas has called all the fighters in the West Bank and the Arab and Islamic worlds to join the battle against Israel and all the countries who are supporting Israel as well. In the light of the least conflict between the Israelis and Palestine in East Jerusalem, Gaza and West Bank, these areas remain critical now. Israel also declared a all-grown war and this has raised concerns uh, already uh, in the very volatile region of West Asia which has been uh, with decades of sectarian conflict communal rivalries and also this has been a region for intervention from foreign powers. So recently to improve the relations of Israeli with many of the uh, Islamic nations, the, uh, the uh, Abraham Accords was signed and also US launched the I2U2 that is the Israeli India US UAE coalition group to increase the Western presence after US pulled out from the Taliban. Now the war is becoming even more even more critical and also because the addition of Hezbollah, a militant group or a terrorist organization which is supported by Iran. So the Hezbollahs have been supplying all ammunition to the Hamas and the war is actually taking a much more severe crisis. So we already have the Russia-Ukraine war which hasn't ended and now this is coming up at 50 years of, uh, of the uh, commemoration of the Yom Kippur war after Israeli took control of the Palestinians, which the Palestinians demand and they want to be an independent state. The countries are divided in West Asia at present and it's only to watch and see situation. However, the United Nations are still not called out for peace and it is, uh, it is a, a dire need that the United Nations should intervene at this very point of time because already there were questions raised that the United Nations has failed 
as a global international organization because it could not prevent the fallout of the Russia-Ukraine war and this should be definitely stopped because this is a focus of the energy rich region as similarly as Russia so a all grown war means again a once again an energy crisis people have still haven't come out from the COVID-19 crisis and thereafter we had the food shortage and also the energy crisis because of the Russia and Ukraine war if this becomes another war altogether it's going to dampen the global economy even for more further and it will be a worse worse situation even further because the Russia Ukraine war hasn't ended so this is about briefly about what exactly is happening in Israel and why the Hamas have actually point, uh, uh, the bo bombed Israel and now with the entrance of Hezbollah it's really taking a terrorist turn there is a lot of proximity to the Taliban as well no peace in the region as of now so a lot needs to be done by the international community without taking sides and actually working together with the cooperative solution and I hope this background or the basis for this uh, issue was really helpful to you all. And if you did, please do like, share, subscribe and do not forget to comment and I shall see you in my next post. Until then, very happy learning.